Hi and welcome to Painting in France. I'm Simon Roberts and today I'd like to take you through a painting set on the tree-lined avenue between Rouge and the Nepias, a small village a few kilometres from where we live. Here's a reference photograph taken of the scene, the road, trees and vines all vanishing towards a distant village, classic one-point perspective. Once I'd established a viewpoint, I lightly sketched the scene with a 2B pencil, helped by those strong vanishing lines. I think it helps to give a painting I think it helps to give a painting an initial overall feel. And so, once I'd dampened the paint with clean water, I simply added a graduated wash of cobalt blue across the entire sky and distant hills over the trees too. As I moved down the page, I switched to yellow ogre with touches of burnt sienna, typical colours of this region. Before the sky colour had dried, I wiped some paint away with a clean damp brush to hint at some high clouds. Next, I added some texture onto the distant hills with a light mix of cobalt blue and sap green before using stronger washes of sap green on the vines, grass and trees. In the foreground I've hinted at grass shapes with upward flicks of the brush. Then, once dry, I added some darker tones with a hooker's green to the trees above me. The hooker's green has helped strengthen those shadows in the trees and vines and a light wash of Payne's grey now brings some definition to the tree trunks and some nice horizontal shadows on the road. Be sure to leave some patches of light on the road too to give the impression of warm sunshine coming in from the right hand side. In this frame you can see that another wash of Payne's grey adds more shadow over the road, extending into the vineyard on the left hand side. A further wash of grey helps accentuate the patterns in the bark of the trees as well. In the final frame, I've added some line work to the trees and grass in the foreground and a little extra detail on the road. I like to use a watercolour crayon which, in my opinion, gives a more sympathetic line than pencil. So, I hope that was helpful and uh, gave you a little taste of painting on plein air here in the Languedoc, south of France. And if you've enjoyed this, you'll find more tutorials on the website. Thank you.